Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to generate the detailed concept about automation in production systems and the reasons of automating. This video is the second class of our course on industrial automation, computer integrated manufacturing and materials handling. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Automation in production systems. Some components of the firm's production system are likely to be automated, whereas others will be operated manually. The automated elements of the production system can be separated into two categories, 1. Automation of the manufacturing systems in the factory, and 2. Computerization of the manufacturing support systems. In modern production systems, the two categories are closely related, because the automated manufacturing systems on the factory floor are themselves usually implemented by computer systems that are integrated with the manufacturing support systems and management information system operating at the plant and enterprise levels. The two categories of automation are shown in this figure. Automated manufacturing systems. Automated manufacturing systems operate in the factory on the physical product. They perform operations such as processing, assembly, inspection, and material handling, in many cases accomplishing more than one of these operations in the same system. They are called automated because they perform their operations with a reduced level of human participation compared with the corresponding manual process. In some highly automated systems, there is virtually no human participation. Examples of automated manufacturing systems include Automated machine tools that process parts Transfer lines that perform a series of machining operations Automated assembly systems Manufacturing systems that use industrial robots to perform processing or assembly operations Automatic material handling and storage systems to integrate manufacturing operations Automatic inspection systems for quality control. Automated manufacturing systems can be classified into three basic types. 1. Fixed automation. 2. Programmable automation. And 3. Flexible automation. They generally operate as fully automated systems although semi-automated systems are common in programmable automation. The relative positions of the three types of automation for different production volumes and product varieties are depicted in this figure. Fixed Automation Fixed automation is a system in which the sequence of processing, or assembly, operations is fixed by the equipment configuration. Each operation in the sequence is usually simple, involving perhaps a plain linear or rotational motion or an uncomplicated combination of the two, such as feeding a rotating spindle. It is the integration and coordination of many such operations in one piece of equipment that makes the system complex. Typical features of fixed automation are, 1. High initial investment for custom-engineered equipment, 2. High production rates, and, 3. Inflexibility of the equipment to accommodate product variety. The economic justification for fixed automation is found in products that are made in very large quantities and at high production rates. The high initial cost of the equipment can be spread over a very large number of units, thus minimizing the unit cost relative to alternative methods of production. Examples of fixed automation include machining transfer lines and automated assembly machines. Programmable Automation In programmable automation, the production equipment is designed with the capability to change the sequence of operations to accommodate different product configurations. The operation sequence is controlled by a program, which is a set of instructions coded so that they can be read and interpreted by the system. New programs can be prepared and entered into the equipment to produce new products. Some of the features that characterize programmable automation include 1. High investment in general purpose equipment 2. Lower production rates than fixed automation 3. Flexibility to deal with variations and changes in product configuration and, 4. High suitability for batch production. Programmable automated systems are used in low and medium volume production. The parts or products are typically made in batches. To produce each new batch of a different item, 
The system must be reprogrammed with the set of machine instructions that correspond to the new item. The physical setup of the machine must also be changed, tools must be loaded, fixtures must be attached to the machine table, and any required machine settings must be entered. This changeover takes time. Consequently, the typical cycle for a given batch includes a period during which the setup and reprogramming take place, followed by a period in which the parts are produced. Examples of programmable automation include numerically controlled, NC, machine tools, industrial robots, and programmable logic controllers. Flexible automation Flexible automation is an extension of programmable automation. A flexible automated system is capable of producing a variety of parts or products with virtually no time lost for changeovers from one design to the next. There is no lost production time while reprogramming the system and altering the physical setup, tooling, fixtures, machine settings. Accordingly, the system can produce various mixes and schedules of parts or products instead of requiring that they be made in batches. What makes flexible automation possible is that the differences between parts processed by the system are not significant, so the amount of changeover between designs is minimal. Features of flexible automation include, 1. High investment for a custom-engineered system, 2. Continuous production of variable mixtures of parts or products, 3. Medium production rates, and, 4. Flexibility to deal with product design variations. Examples of flexible automation are flexible manufacturing systems that perform machining processes. Computerized manufacturing support systems. Automation of the manufacturing support systems is aimed at reducing the amount of manual and clerical effort in product design, manufacturing planning and control, and the business functions of the firm. Nearly all modern manufacturing support systems are implemented using computers. Indeed, computer technology is used to implement automation of the manufacturing systems in the factory as well. Computer Integrated Manufacturing SIM denotes the pervasive use of computer systems to design the products, plan the production, control the operations, and perform the various information processing functions needed in a manufacturing firm. TrueSIM involves integrating all of these functions in one system that operates throughout the enterprise. Other terms are used to identify specific elements of the SIM system, for example, computer-aided design, CAD, supports the product design function. Computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, is used for functions related to manufacturing engineering, such as process planning and numerical control part programming. Some computer systems perform both CAD and CAM, and so the term CAD, CAM is used to indicate the integration of the two into one system. Computer-integrated manufacturing involves the information processing activities that provide the data and knowledge required to successfully produce the product. These activities are accomplished to implement the four basic manufacturing support functions identified earlier, 1. Business functions, 2. Product design, 3. Manufacturing planning, and 4. Manufacturing control. Reasons for automating. Companies undertake projects in automation and computer-integrated manufacturing for good reasons, some of which are the following, 1. Increase labor productivity. Automating a manufacturing operation invariably increases production rate and labor productivity. This means greater output per hour of labor input. 2. Reduce labor cost. Increasing labor cost has been, and continues to be, the trend in the world's industrialized societies. Consequently, higher investment in automation has become economically justifiable to replace manual operations. Machines are increasingly being substituted for human labor to reduce unit product cost. 3. Mitigate the effects of labor shortages. There is a general shortage of labor in many advanced nations, and this has stimulated the development of automated operations as a substitute for labor. 4. Reduce or eliminate routine manual and clerical tasks. An argument can be put forth that there is social value in automating operations that are routine, boring fatiguing, and possibly irksome. Automating such tasks improves the general level of working conditions. 5. Improve worker safety. Automating a given operation and transferring the worker from active participation in the process to a monitoring role, 
or removing the worker from the operation altogether, makes the work safer. The safety and physical well-being of the worker has become a national objective with the enactment of the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA, in 1970. This has provided an impetus for automation. 6. Improve Product Quality Automation not only results in higher production rates than manual operation, it also performs the manufacturing process with greater consistency and conformity to quality specifications. 7. Reduce manufacturing lead time. Automation helps reduce the elapsed time between customer order and product delivery, providing a competitive advantage to the manufacturer for future orders. By reducing manufacturing lead time, the manufacturer also reduces work in process inventory. 8. Accomplish processes that cannot be done manually. Certain operations cannot be accomplished without the aid of a machine. These processes require precision, miniaturization, or complexity of geometry that cannot be achieved manually. Examples include certain integrated circuit fabrication operations, rapid prototyping processes based on computer graphics, CAD, models, and the machining of complex, mathematically defined surfaces using computer numerical control. These processes can only be realized by computer-controlled systems. 9. Avoid the high cost of not automating. There is a significant competitive advantage gained in automating a manufacturing plant. The advantage cannot always be demonstrated on a company's project authorization form. The benefits of automation often show up in unexpected and intangible ways, such as in improved quality, higher sales, better labor relations, and better company image. Companies that do not automate are likely to find themselves at a competitive disadvantage with their customers, their employees, and the general public. So, we have learned about automation in production systems and the reasons of automating in details. In the next video, we will discuss in details about manual labor in production systems. Thank you.